So Akash Kumar of India approaching the red corner. His opponent is Venezuela's Joel Finol. He'll be boxing out of the blue corner. So Krista Palman of Sweden has issued the final instructions, the referee in this contest. And we are underway in the 54 kilogram bantamweight division. This one at the quarterfinal stage between boxers from India and Venezuela. The boxer wearing red is 21-year-old Akash Kumar from Rajasthan competing in his first world championships, his third bout of Belgrade 2021, just picked off by a beautiful southpaw right by the boxer wearing blue. And that is Joel Finol of Venezuela. 25 years of age. It's his third appearance at a world championships for the two-time Olympian. He took Olympic bronze in Rio 2016, vastly experienced operator. And he's been sharp so far, and most importantly, perhaps from his perspective, competitive. Because he shared the ring with Gabriel Escobar in his round of 16 contest and prevailed on a 3-2 split decision victory over the 2019 European Games gold medalist and Olympic quarter-finalist from early this summer. That was a really high-caliber affair. Brilliant to watch, and it was Finol who edged it. 3-2, southpaw left scores once again. Now you see that characteristic as he scores with a southpaw right and escapes out of the corner. Same shot, same success. Right, left from Finol. As Kumar, both boxers spoken to about rabbit punching on the inside. As for Akash Kumar, he won by walkover after an injury befell his opponent in the proposed opening round. 30 boxes making up the bantamweight bracket, so round of 32 was the opening round. Won by walkover over Salah Ibrahim Omar before using his speed and long range to prevail over Caleb Tarado of Puerto Rico by unanimous points decision in the round of 16. Sharp punch picking once again at mid-range from Final, who comes square on the ropes to invite pressure, but then his hands are so rapid and his radar so good that at his best he can avoid the shots coming in his direction. There he goes once again, retreating to the strands voluntarily, bobbing and weaving on the ropes. As a good left jab cracks home from Kumar, Perhaps his best shot of the contest, looking for the same shot once again. He followed up with the feet to find his man on the end of a long right cross, closing seconds of the opening round. Kumar now mirroring the posture being presented by Finol, drives his man back to the ropes and enjoyed success once again. Southpaw left is a raking scoring shot from Finol. Kumar comes forward in search of his payback, made to miss just as the referee was intervening. And there is a scoring right hand. Finol landed a southpaw right, but it was the shot of Kumar that was more authoritative at the conclusion. As the bell sounded. Very good opening round. I happen to think 
It was the man in blue who boxed pretty well, but it's a 4-1 split. Thought it may have been a little bit closer than that, but Kumar taking it 4-1. Only judge number five preferring the work of the man in blue. Kumar on the front foot, making the con contest, taking it to his man. But some eye-catching singles like that. Check right hand by Finol. I thought would have given him a greater foothold in that opening round, but he's conceded the first on a 4-1 split. The judges preferring the front foot pressure of Kumar. So we go into the second round then. It's bantamweight, 54 kilogram quarterfinal action. The winner progressing through to the final four. India sent a full strength team here. A boxer in each of the 13 weight classes as Kumar continues to score with that left jab. Four boxers through from India to the quarterfinal stage. Yol Finol is the only representative in the quarterfinals for Venezuela, but when you consider that they sent only a four-man team, then that is a pretty good return. For the nation from South America. That's a beautiful lead shot landed by Kumar, who celebrates it by walking away. Finol went in search of a re response, but couldn't quite find it. And look at the change as Kumar using that terrific speed and long reach to score with a right-hand single out of the orthodox stance. And the table's completely turned as Finol lands a flashing right hook as the boxers attempted to disengage. But the table's completely turned in the preceding portion of this round because Finale, who was invariably on the front foot, having conceded the first round on a 4-1 split, now has to go in pursuit of his man. He's capable of doing it. But his preferred mode of operation is on the back foot. And now you see him coming in, Kumar doing a good job running him onto punches. So this becoming a very difficult mission, and that's why... Taking the first round is so crucial in all forms of boxing, but Aiba boxing in particular. Well, it's difficult for the boxers because with the noises that are coming from the fans in attendance here, the referee following COVID-19 countermeasures, they have to wear face coverings. And for a moment, Final was wondering where the instruction was coming from. Looked in the referee's direction, Kumar, who is currently demonstrating fancy footwork. Oh my goodness, he's forced to touch down there. Footing just gave way as he attempted to step forward behind the shot. But as Finol was looking in the direction of the referees, put on the end of a two-shot flurry there, which drives him backwards. Kumar almost helped himself to a free shot. Southpaw left landed by Finol. It's been a good round by Kumar. Because Finol has had to change his tactics here. He's still continuing to wait to score eye-catching singles, but that is not going to be enough, given that he conceded the first. And look at Kumar using the clock, backing off, disengaging, setting the terms of the contest. Both men exchanging single shots, plenty of exuberant celebrations as they find the mark. But again, it's Kumar who has done a good job while well, Finol raising his hand but I don't think he's been busy enough there often enough or effective enough often enough during the course of that round to overturn the 4-1 deficit that he faced after the first round. What say the judges? And there's confirmation. Akash Kumar taking all of the cards in the second round. So it's all square for the judge from Guatemala who scored the first in favour of Final. The other four judges have it 20 points to 18 with just three minutes to go in favor of India's Akash Kumar, who boxed a very good second round. The tactics had to be changed. And Kumar, well, he scored with shots like that. Counters without reply, or excuse me, lead shots without reply, often able to escape before Finol could find a range. And that two-shot salvo driving Finol back towards the ropes. So we go into the third and final round. Kumar out aggressively, then disengaging entirely. And Finol, well, he's got to go against his preferred style here. 
because he's trailing by 20 points to 18 for judges one, two, three, and four after two rounds of boxing. And the momentum, as well as the scorecards, are in favor of Kumar, who swept the second round unanimously because Finol was attempting to do what he's trying now, and that's get on the front foot and take it to his opponent. But it is so hard to box in a style other than that which you prefer. The great ones, of course, capable of going in any direction. Joe Calzaghi springs to mind, the man who took three national ABA titles at three different weights in three consecutive years during his tenure in the three-round code. Went on to a brilliant run of an undefeated Hall of Fame career in the pros at super middleweight and more latterly at the end of his career up at light heavyweight, but capable of boxing in any direction, on the front foot, on the back foot, moving laterally, shots on the inside, the volume that he used to produce. But so many boxers, if you take them out of their preferred mode of operation, they become entirely different athletes. And that's what Kumar, excuse me, that's what Final has to try and do against Kumar here. The counter puncher who tried a southpaw left has got to become the pressure fighter, the aggressor. Kumar knows that, so too do the Indian team. And look at the tactics they have sent out Kumar with. Stay out of trouble, keep out of harm's way, and you're going through to the medal rostrum and the prize money that comes with it. Brilliant display so far by the three-time reigning national champion of India and the 2016 Olympic bronze medalist running out of time. There's a nice combination of straight punches between the gloves of the man in red. But really, Finol needs a knockout. Not beyond the realm of possibility, of course, but it's an increasingly difficult task to knock out a man who is going backwards. You really do need to be a dynamite puncher to be able to execute that type of KO. Left hand is a successful shot for Finol, who credit to him is continuing to press. There he scores with a flashing right hand out of the southpaw stance. The left that followed wasn't too far away. And another eye-catching right hook. Competitive spirit continuing to burn brightly as Finol comes in with a roundhouse southpaw left. Kumar, aware that he's conceding this round, trying to just do something to keep the judges happy. But he do, I don't think he's conceded it by the massive margin that Finol needed to find to overturn the 20 points to 18 deficit that he faced for, five, for four of the five judges. And again, the body language so instructive. Exuberant celebrations from Kumar as soon as the bell rung because the boxers often have a better sense than anybody as to which way the contest has gone. And look at the subdued nature of the exchanges over in the blue corner. Completely contrasting to those taking place in the red corner. Let's get the official announcement. Akash Kumar, for my money, is going through to the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bout number 409 in the ring A, the winner on points by unanimous decision is the boxer out of the red corner from India. What a wonderful moment in the career of Akash Kumar, just 21 years of age. In his first senior world championships, having competed in the youth event in Budapest three years ago. And he is absolutely ecstatic. The energy to zip across the ring and between the ropes. But he's going to be returning for the semi-finals when we have a one-ring setup here at the Stark Arena. Because he has just eliminated the 2016 Olympic bronze medalist. And three-time participant in the world championships, Yoel Fenal of Venezuela on a unanimous point decision verdict. He set his stall out early. He took the first round on a 4-1 split. And then with Finol having to box against his nature on the front foot, he took the second unanimously. And that was the moment the bell rung. He knew he'd done enough. And there was a the moment of confirmation. Akash Kumar threw to the semi-finals, the medal stages, and the prize money that comes with it.